Well, that guy's not too big, but Sokol's got a nice small man next to him. I think the uh, center for the other team has the Tahoe, the blue Tahoe in the parking lot. <laughs> the game was delayed for a second because 66 had to go move his car, it was parked illegally, and we're off. It's appreciative. I mean, the, the, the mouth guard on the side of the helmet is very helpful. It protects your ear hole. And we all need our ear hole protected. Face off Ogram. Pressure by Harrison. Lomer. Vipers dump it in the corner. 66 on the puck. Harrison goes in. Hard against 66, the tiny man on the ice. Algram picks it up behind the net. He's got Sokol on the wing, up to Sokol. Sokol back to Algram. Algram breaking out. He's got Cooney ahead on his right. Cooney stays on side. Algram into the zone. Over to Cooney. A little bit in front of him. Cooney in the corner. Battling, sends it around. Matthew, good pressure on the puck. Loose to the dot. Vipers pick it up. Sent out. Lomer takes a good long look. Sends a cross ice to no one. Vipers dap it in, shot on net. At least Thomas made a save. Is Thomas wearing his new pads today? Thomas does have new pads on today, they're pretty nice. We should get some update later on by the equipment manager of our goalie to uh, understand the difference between the two pads he'll be using today and in previous weeks. Hopefully they make him play better. And here we go, the Vipers dump it in. Picked up by Cole. Cole up to Adams, turnover. Good defense by Matthew to keep the shot off net. Mots picks it up in the corner, chips it up to Ventura. Ventura battling at the waist of number six, Sokolowski. Good Irish name. Centering pass, Vipers, right in front of the net. Thomas save, still loose. Oh, slash, no call. We got a no call slash in the ice. Adams still looking for a stick. Good thing it's bright enough, he can find it. Matthew the corner digging, pops it out, no wing in place. Adams was still looking for a stick. Vipers dump it deep. Vipers centering pass in front, deflected by Cole. Jackson tries to set it up, kept in by Sokolowski. Kamikaze, put out by the Stars. Stars in chase, in slow motion. Over to Jackson, Jackson coming up the ice. Jackson avoids the hit. Jackson still on the puck. Three grown men chasing him. It's not a bad scene at a park. It's a hockey game. Here we go. Vipers coming out of the zone the other way. Tried to keep him by the stars. Campanelli on the puck. Campanelli on that puck still. Pearson taking the puck into the zone, dumps it in. Boris playing some offense again today. Looking good in that number 55. And it clears the zone. And according to Mr. Adams, he wants Dennis to know that it's not soccer. <laughs> no sleep in Brooklyn, by the way. And we're off. Sent up to the wing to Boris. Boris playing wing today. He's got Algram and Campanelli with him. Campanelli the pressure on the puck. Gives him a little bump. Battle in the corner, nice battle. Taking on a guy that's twice as big as me. Here come the Vipers coming out of the zone. Boris with pressure on the puck. Sent over to the other side of the ice. Weak side of the ice, into the zone. Lomer with the puck. Up to Boris. Swing and a miss. Vipers dump it in. Vipers like to dump and chase. It's hard to see if Zach is using the new stick from yesterday, a an old stick. Uh, there was some controversy in practice on whether or not he did break his stick. Gerard did get to run home and get that new one though, so it looks like he's using that one for today. I heard something about it being a legal stick, that he was playing an illegal stick. I won't say anything, he's on our team, but I think it might have been an illegal team. Don't be surprised if the Vipers uh, go to the referee with that uh, challenge later on in the game. It might be an illegal barrel size. Campanelli with the puck, up to Boris. Nice defensive play, Mots picks it up. Back to Boris, check from behind on Boris. He's resilient, he got up quick. Cooney with good pressure. Number 66 is the size of, nice save, Thomas. Number 66 is a large human being. 
Libraries of the puck behind the net. Harrison putting some, laying some wood. Puck behind the net. Thomas doesn't know where it is. Nobody knows where it is. 66 got the puck again. First around. Yep. Now it's protecting the ice. Vipers back into the corner again. Number 39 tries to wrap around. Misses. Back to 66. Hard shot deep. Pass in front. Nobody home. Cooney with pressure to the boards. Vipers keep it in the zone. Cole sends it out. Vipers pick it up. They're going to dump. This is their thing. Thomas save. Harrison's looking a little tired right now. He's been on the ice for a little while. Cole misses it behind the net. Fresh set of legs out there for the Vipers. There's going to be trouble here. Our legs aren't looking as fresh. <laughs> we got Sokol on the boards. Taking it back around the net. Crafty, Crafty gets lit up in front of the net. Algram looking to pass to somebody, but nobody's there. Gets it out of the zone. And the Vipers dump it deep again. If we haven't picked up a pattern yet, the Vipers will dump it deep and chase. There's still a loose stick on the ice. Uh-oh, oh, nice save, save Thomas. Thomas. Number 10 is like half the size of the rest of the team, so he snuck in. Our team did not know he was there because he's not as big him. as everyone else. He does fit our size and our mold. He does seem like he's got the wrong jersey on. Harrison chips it out. We can't get the puck out of the zone here. Got to send it hard. Oh, deflect it again. Send it hard again. There we go. There go puck out. Icing waved, not waved off, icing kept. I got to question that call, but I have come grown accustomed to coming up here and not getting any calls to any other team except for the home team. That's how it works. Thomas's new pads getting some good workouts, some good thuds. The Stars are going to take this face off with two players, apparently. And we're back. Lots of the face off with Algram and Jackson. Oh, Adam, sorry. How can I miss that stick? Jackson with pressure on the puck. Go low, Jackson, go, go low. Adams with pressure on the boards. And the Vipers coming the other way. Mott's with good pressure. Good body pressure by Mott's. Matthew on the puck. Matthew with a good check. Centered, Thomas. 6.32 left in the first. We got a 0-0 ball game. It's sunny out today. No clouds in the sky. Beautiful 72 degree dead weather. In San Diego. In San Diego, yes. And I believe this one ref has a stellar, stellar mullet going on, which is really, really nice. Sorry, I'm distracted now. I can't, I can't focus at all. Jackson brings a puck out up to Mitchell. Intercepted by 72. They tried to dump, deflected. Uh-oh, turnover in the center. Stars get to the puck. Dump back to number four, Vipers, looking for somebody in front. Through the crease. And kept in the zone. Mitchell on the puck. Shot on net. Mitchell's father would like him to keep moving, please. It's been mentioned a couple times so far this game. And cleared out. That should be waved off. That should absolutely be waved off. And it is not again. And this announcer would like to understand why it's not. It is an impressive mullet. I am just jealous, actually. My hair does not grow like that. Correcting the face off in alignment. And we're off. Algram wins the face off, gets it out to Campanelli. Campanelli's got turning on the booster rockets here. Look at him hustle down the ice, folks. I like the effort. These kids haven't taken geometry yet, so we'll work on those angles next year. Close. Absolutely. Thomas close. is in geometry. What's his excuse? <laughs> He's a goalie. <laughs> Back in the zone for the face-off on the right dot in my radio dial direction. Shot, save Thomas. Cleared out, save Thomas again. Nets off. The old classic goalie move, kick the net off when you're under pressure. I like it. Well, you know what? Thomas was watching the squirt game this morning. He may have learned a little something from Atticus. 
uh, on kicking that net off. It's not a bad move. Atticus is pretty solid at it. Algram on the face off. Back to the D. Dumped in the corner. They absolutely dump and chase every chance they get. Harrison, good body pressure. He's not shying away from the big boy. Take him down and tackle him. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Trying to find his stick. Kicking, playing soccer. There you go. And it's a soccer game. Harrison laying wood without a stick. The guy's a madman. He's all over the place. He's battling two guys without a stick in the corner and he clears the zone. He's a beast. Shot on net. Back to the point, number two coming in. Got a good screen, good save, Thomas in the chest. That star is a good target. They tend to shoot right at the middle of it. It helps out a lot. Thomas has asked the mullet ref for a second to fix his new pads. Apparently something's wrong. Mr. Mullet. He's getting no assistance from anybody. He's on his own. I think we're ready to go. If his parents would buy him better new pads, he wouldn't have this problem. Color commentator questions if he does either. Piper throwing the puck somehow. Aldrin taking. Aldrin with the head. Adams. Harrison. And the Vipers have the puck again. Harrison. Every time he doesn't have a stick, he's into somebody. Piper's the next. Kept in by the Vipers again. And finally out. Number 72. In fairness to him, he's bigger than me and get on no pads. Sounds like our, our volume is 
similar to how Bear just started. Great in the beginning, muffled at the end. Needs to sound any better now. Stars with a power play, five on four. The Vipers have put out their all 32 year old line. coming up the side of the ice, number 66. Matthew on the left, picks it up. Picked up by Mox. Mox has got Boris on his right. Mox chips it up in a foot race. we got Boris in the middle. Tries to center, loses the puck. Guy's sitting on his legs. Mox gets back to the puck, good battle. And everyone's in a sword fight. Comes around loose. Piper's gonna get to this one. Especially if he was trying to hit that center of the chest. I told this one before, but for those of you that haven't heard it, what has nine arms and ten legs and plays music? Got Leopard. Mott's on the face off. Tries to win it back to Dennis. Scrum. Sets the weak side of the ice. Leopard's coming out. in again. <laughs> the ref did point at the interference call. He just didn't call. He raised his arm high. That will be high net. 35 seconds left in the period. Or it's over to the puck. Campanelli on the puck. Battle in the corner. 17 seconds left in the period. Lower comes out with it. Pass to Algram. Algram gets it out of the zone. I think we've forgotten that we have the man advantage. 11 seconds left in the penalty. Five seconds left in the period. Stars send the puck out. Maybe we get a Mike goal here. I, I realized I was covering it with my thumb because I figured nobody would want to hear me. 